Today I'm flipping garbage alone in the woods to try to find wild snakes. While I don't condone dumping garbage in the woods, it is unfortunately one of the best ways to find snakes. Snakes alongside a ton of other reptiles and amphibians like to use trash as cover objects because it gives them a safe place to thermoregulate while being protected from potential predators. The spot I'm at today has a bunch of things to flip so let's see what I can find. With all of this stuff laying around, finding a snake didn't take too long. This little guy is a northern ringneck snake. In general, they're pretty harmless and don't often bite. They eat things like insects, earthworms, and salamanders. I should point out that they are technically venomous. However, their bite is comparable to a bee sting. In the subspecies that I have here, the northern ringneck, which is characterized by a lack of dots on its stomach, doesn't even have fangs. So when it's nibbling on me, it literally does nothing. These are pretty common snakes, but still one of my favorites to find. I'm going to go ahead and put this back exactly where I found it. The next thing I flipped was this piece of carpet and there was nothing living under. I then found some old plywood laying around and in the past was pretty good for finding snakes underneath. And today is no different because just below the surface there was a ton of ants and this decays brown snake. These are non-venomous and eat soft-bodied prey items. Stuff like earthworms and slugs. This is another species that is not prone to biting. Instead, you can expect them to release a foul-smelling musk that leaves your hands smelling horrible until you wash them. I found this garter snake under another piece of plywood. I didn't get the flip on camera because honestly I didn't think there was going to be anything underneath the plywood. It was so embedded in the grass. This eastern garter snake is pretty chunky, which leads me to believe that she may be gravid or holding eggs. But I guess you could also say pregnant because garter snakes give life birth. And off she goes. This is an old dumpster lid that I flipped in previous videos, but this is my first time finding an eastern milk snake underneath. I don't know if it's because the temperature was in the low 60s, but regardless, the snake was pretty chill. Unfortunately, it looks like something clipped the end of its tail, though. Milk snakes are king snakes and will eat other snakes if given the opportunity. And despite milk being in their name, they don't actually drink milk, and instead usually just eat rodents. We hung out for a second, then I put it right back where I found it. Walking along the path, I found this Kentucky Flat Millipede. I think they look pretty cool and they don't really bite or anything like that, but you probably shouldn't touch them because they produce cyanide. I also found these bats up in a pavilion. I don't know enough about bats to get a positive ID on these guys, but if you do, leave a comment and let me know what they are. Back to flipping trash. I found this old boat and I was pretty disappointed to find nothing underneath, but right next to it I found something slithering over a piece of metal. And I went in for the catch. This is a baby northern water snake. They aren't venomous, but they are incredibly defensive. But at this size, they really can't do any damage. This little snake, surprisingly, has not tried to bite me once. But I went ahead and put it where I found it so it can go back to doing whatever baby snakes do. 